shout and this is what i would call this one because actually in the process you're going to scream and gonna shout wow that's a lot of money in one place before we go any, anything guys please take notice of what i'm going what i'm about to do here and subscribe to the channel make sure on the minute one let's start this video guys so first of all i'm gonna show you my indicators which i have used i'm gonna show you all these indicators so you can apply please take the screenshot of the indicator so you can apply them on your devices in case if i'm too fast for some of you okay so yes how is this gonna work um indicators on the indicators we have got um, on the main window the moving average and then we've got um, some additional indicators on windows 1 and window 2 we have macd on window 1 and awesome oscillator on window 2 and we've got the relative strength index on window 1 as well so this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you this please take a screenshot on your period please place 14 the shift is zero the method is exponential apply to close there are no levels here you can choose any color you want any color of your preference select done then we go to the second one which is the macd on the first one on the first ema select 13 on slow ema 25 on macd sma 10 apply to low there are no levels here again and you can choose any colors you want on the main and signals i've selected two pixels on the main and one pixel on the signal click done when you're done go to the next one which is the, um, the relative strength index your relative strength index select period six apply to close um just select there are two levels here at 25 and a 75 and on the style you can choose any color you want i've chosen blue that's the color i want on here and then my style it's a black color that's what i want here for differentiation i don't want to mix up of my colors it wouldn't uh, make sense and it would be a lot difficult to to see some other stuff and then on the indicator window two we have the awesome oscillator and the awesome oscillator there are no levels here as you can see for yourself and the value up is a greenish color or cyan and the value down is um peach color yes i've just chosen these colors for differentiation so you can see that the value up is this one and the value down is this one and then click done when all is done as you can see this is this setup if you did not uh, take a good look at them please go back and take a screenshot that's for the best okay so now let's move to the next step okay so the next step involves this part it also involves this part again and it will involve this third part again so this is how it's going to work you can start wherever you want if you want to start from this one or from this one it's okay as long as you understand what you are doing so what i want to start with is this one on the a on the awesome oscillator so on the awesome oscillator as you can see that at certain point it's changing colors from red to green i'm on crash 1000 index on the minute one time frame so when it changes from red to green it means that it's time for you to buy okay it's time for you to buy i'm not trading spice on this one i'm just trading these candlesticks so when it's time to buy it changes from red to green this is your first confirmation over here and your second confirmation you will get it when this relative strength index crosses with this macd over here with this dotted green line this is your second confirmation over here it has to touch or cross whatever you want to call it and then your third confirmation is this moving average over here this purplish moving average when it crosses these candlesticks or it when it has been broken by this candlestick, as you see that these candlesticks are forming going upwards as they are buying the market is currently going upwards as you can see it is an uptrend at the moment 
so when this happens when it breaks these as i've talked in the previous video it has to break like if it breaks the first candlesticks wait until the second and then you enter on the third candlesticks maybe here then you can um place your position until until you get like over here this is like the fifth candlesticks meaning that in total you only get three of them only three candlesticks and then you get out but you do that only when you get these three confirmations over here these three confirmations will do the best for you so that you won't get hit by any sudden spikes spikes are like earthquakes guys you won't expect them but if you have your seismometer and your stuff you will get to prepare for this okay let's move on to the next one let's move on to the next one the next one the next one so the next one is over here again ah there's no point in adding this stuff this is your first confirmation but i would prefer if you take a look over here first take a look at the awesome oscillator first if it's changing from red to green it means that it's time for you to buy it has been um the market has been on the downtrend for some time so now this correction period meaning that it will start to go up so when it turns green it turns green it won't just turn green for fun so it turns green over here it's time for you to buy you come here in the middle you check your macd if the macd has made any contact with the relative strength index over here the relative strength index is the one which is black in color and the macd it is the one with pink and then green dotted line here so when it crosses over here this is your second confirmation your third confirmation then you come over here to the moving average when it has been broken by these candlesticks and then you can enter your trade only three make sure that it's only three if it's only three then it's accurate don't exceed three because sometimes spikes comes at the fifth and fourth so just do as you uh, just do three only and sometimes as i've shown in the previous video you will see that it will not break this part here if it fails to break this part then it means that these two confirmations over here are not accurate that's why there's a third over here that's why this one excess the third and if this one is correct and this one is correct but this one is not touching don't enter any trade don't do anything because it is likely to spike to you anytime soon and if this one is correct and this one again is correct but this one is still red leave it alone bro just leave it alone just wait for the correct one there's no need for you to raise money in such a quick way such that you won't even need to take notice on all these dangerous things happening in the market let's move on to the third we have this one there's this part over here as you can see for yourself but as i was saying there is no mid part they aren't touching anyway here are they they are not touching in any point but they have touched over here they are not touching over here meaning that it's not accurate but over here you can see that over here you can see that um let me go to the object side on the objects again you can see that it has changed color from red to green meaning that it is time for you to buy so since it is time for you to buy but as you can see that there is one missing here so it is not accurate don't enter your trade probably as you've seen that there are candlesticks yes they are but most of the cases they won't be this kind of candlesticks they won't and then you will see at this point again here there's a crossover it has touched the magd has touched the relative strength index and over here it has turned from red to green but as you can see here it has failed to break the moving average so it is spiked meaning that it is lacking one of the con of the three confirmations it is not accurate let it go guys let it go so in this case if you had ignored this one but you thought that this one had touched and this one had changed color but this one and then you said maybe oh it, it was gonna spy it's not gonna spike since this and this are correct so there's no need to wait for it to break the line there's no need for the candlestick to break the moving average and there's no need to wait for the for the for the second confirmation that it won't spike on the next candlestick so let me just enter you will lose your money guys you will lose your money very fast let's move to the next one and this one over here we got this one this point over here 
and it is touched over here and the colors have changed over here this one is very correct guys and this will also work in crash 500 boom 500 and boom 1000 so this one is very accurate it is very clear and i've shown you guys how to do this subscribe to this channel guys i'll give you a lot more strategies i'll do live trades of these videos very soon right now i have to focus on some requested videos thank you guys for watching